all animals. How whales became the biggest animals on the planet. Whales are among the most enormous life forms to traverse the Earth. In fact, blue whales happen to be the largest animal to have ever graced this planet. Roughly 50 million years ago, whales were previously hoofed mammals on land, still evolving to become creatures of the oceans. Over the following 20 to 30 million years, some developed the unique ability to filter feed, consuming colossal quantities of food. But it wasn't until about 4.5 million years ago that whales of several different breeds started popping up as the massive beings we see today. From studying 140 fossilized whale specimens and noting the climate patterns taking place during the time of this whale growth explosion, researchers at the Smithsonian Institute's National Museum of Natural History believe they've pinpointed the environmental conditions that set the stage for the birth of these underwater giants. Their findings were published on May 23rd in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society B. In the midst of the Pleistocene era, nutrients such as iron entered the water by means of runoff from glaciers in the northern hemisphere. Meanwhile, wind-driven upwelling cycles forced cold water to the surface, along with a plethora of organic material. The nutrient-rich waters drew in tons upon tons of zooplankton and krill, practically forming underwater walls of whale food stretching for miles. These gatherings took place seasonally, demanding whales travel far distances between feedings. Only the most massive whales had the fuel to make the trips, while the smaller ones eventually died off. Altogether, these dynamic processes allowed whales to grow from the size of minivans to greater than the length of two school buses in a relatively short period of time. According to interviews conducted by the New York Times, the study is garnering wide recognition from the scientific community for helping us better understand whale evolution while offering further evidence to support current findings about the shifts in our oceans throughout Earth's history. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Whales make for great big stories. Here's a few more. Humpbacks interrupt orca pods feeding frenzy. You never know what you might find when flying a drone over the ocean. But on May 1st, a group of marine biologists managed to capture this amazing footage of a pod of orcas trying to devour a gray whale carcass, but getting interrupted by a couple of uninvited dinner guests, two humpback whales. The orca pod has reportedly been on a killing spree in Monterey Bay over the past two weeks, targeting gray whales. Seven whale casualties recorded so far is oddly high for such a short time span, which caught the attention of the scientific community. The orca's blood spilling has also captured the attention of the 60 to 70 humpback whales in the area who've migrated early this year. Watch carefully and you'll see the humpbacks disrupting the orcas during mealtime. Orcas are the main predators of gray whales, but humpbacks have no interest in the prey, leading experts to wonder what their motives might be for pissing off their rivals. A show of altruism, perhaps, to protect the gray whales? Some experts suggest this behavior is more likely to be an instinctual attack response, given that orca pods often go after humpback whale calves. Or maybe the humpbacks are just jerks at the underwater cafeteria, jocks pushing food trays off the geek tables, <laughs> who knows. Whatever the reasoning, these whale wars going on off the California coast right now are probably doing wonders for the state's whale watching tour industry. Ah, nature. What causes whale strandings? Recently, Britain's Coast Guard caught off a search for what could have become the seventh stranded whale in the country in the past few weeks. Rescuers had started an operation to help the sperm whale after a scene approaching the coast of Mundesley. But after being unable to spot the whale inside the search area, the Coast Guard reckons the animal may have survived and swam the deeper waters. Experts say the survival rates for whale strandings are usually low. If the Coast Guard's hopes are right, this whale was a lucky one. But there's several reasons and scenarios that can cause whale strandings to happen. A whale may become stranded if it is ill or suffers an injury to its navigation system. Also, when in shallow waters, whales can easily become trapped in a changing tide. And since the marine animals live in tight-knit groups, one sick animal's calls of distress can cause an entire pod to respond and become stranded as well. Underwater seismic activity can also cause a whale stranding. So far in 2016, as many as 30 sperm whales have died in Europe's North Sea. Asshole humpback whale collides with jet skier.
say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Canadian woman dies after being hit by whale during boat trip. A Canadian tourist was fatally wounded by a gray whale that crashed into a boat sailing off the coast of western Mexico on Wednesday. A total of 24 people, including passengers and crew, were on board a whale-watching boat that set out from the popular tourist destination of Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. Reports said a gray whale suddenly appeared in front of the boat on its way back. The whale jumped out of the water and landed on the boat, hitting three tourists. The Canadian woman fell into the water due to the impact. The woman received mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation from another tourist who happened to be a qualified nurse. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. The two other injured tourists were later hospitalized. Their injuries are not said to be life-threatening.